All right, so how do you level up and raise your team cost in Dokkan Battle? All right, before we jump into it, just don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump right into it. Okay, so first of all, leveling up is actually super important in, uh, in Dokkan, in the sense that when you start out, you only have a team cost of about 150, and you cannot support too many uh, high-ranking characters uh, in, in your team. As you can see right now, my team cost is 480, so I can afford to have all these all these characters on my on my team. But if I was like a, a, an earlier level, like, let's say like 150, 50 uh, for example I would not be able to fit even half of these on my team and um, once you reach rank 100 you should have about 283 as a team cost now that's still not bad but you still want to make sure that you have that pretty high so you can you can fit a lot of uh, good people on your team and something that you just gotta keep in mind is that a lot of these LRs um, have a team cost of about 77 right you know, I'm just gonna jump in and take a look at some of my LRs like let's take a look at uh, this LR Gohan right here let's say you pull an LR Gohan uh, he has a team cost of 77 as well you can see it right here uh, right under the def defense and leveling up uh, has other perks as well such as uh, you can increase uh, character ranks and and I believe you get five stones every 20 ranks and 20 stones for uh, 100 ranks until you reach about 500 so I can still uh, keep getting stones from rank ranking up in this uh, in this account so where you want to go to get the most amount of XP in the shortest amount of time is you're going to want to all right so to get the most amount of XP in the shortest amount of time you want to go quest now if you're an earlier level you're just going to want to keep doing these uh, just 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 keep going and doing is a as the, the hardest difficulty that you possibly can uh, until you reach taxing endeavor the basically the way that uh, the quest works is that the quest gives you the most XP out of anything in the game right I including the the events there are some specific events that might give you uh, a little bit more but that's but so usually those are yeah, either seasonal or you're only, you're only allowed to do those like once or, or twice but this you can do as many times as you want um, <clears throat> and on top of that there's are there's also a four times XP for the story events right so you want to look at the area 27 taxing endeavor and the last mission and you're gonna to want to do this on super difficulty again if you're an earlier mission and you struggle doing these later missions you could do one that's a little bit easier for you but try to do as difficult as you can because that will result in the most amount of XP now let's actually jump straight into this right here um, I just uh, put my boost on you don't necessarily have to do that it, it can definitely help it never hurts now as far as the team that you have to run on this again once you're pretty uh once you're a moderately advanced player this shouldn't be this level should not be too much of an issue but if you're a more beginner uh try to stick to some high level urs and uh and any transcended urs if you have any that should be enough to complete this mission right so i'm just gonna show you how easy it is to uh, beat this mission now. I think on the base on the base uh, super on the base super difficulty I'm pretty sure you should be able to pull 27,000 stamina I believe per run and uh, it, This this mission only only takes up uh, what 23 stamina and uh, Also, you can get like 60,500 uh, character XP. Now let's take a look at this attack. Okay, so yeah, 20 is 27,000 XP is crazy, and you can also get uh, the, again, like I said, the 60,500 uh, character XP, so you can level up your character. You can link, you could level up the links and all that good stuff. You even have the chance of getting some uh, some incredible gems. I believe I got some in, in this mission. Uh, peel off and launch have a, a possibility of uh, popping up in, in this mission as well. Um, you can if you if you hop on if you hop on their on their little uh, if you hop on their little circle. Uh, you should be able to uh, face them and, and get uh, anywhere from like 15 to 20 extra incredible gems, which you can use to get uh, Elder Kai's and, and more. Now, let's see. Uh, all my all my links and such are leveling up. All right, now let's take a look at the rewards. Keep in mind that I'm a pretty high, I'm a, I'm a pretty high level in this uh, this global account. I'm over level 300. So, and look, that immediately leveled me up. Maximum team cost increased and maximum stamina increased. Yeah, just like that. So if you're trying to level up, you're trying to get some stones quick, um, definitely, definitely do this mission right here. This is going to, this is going to help you out greatly. You're going to level up so fast. Also, I'm going to throw some videos up on how to get more. Also, if you guys are interested in how to get more dragon stones or how to get more elder kai's to boost your units, I'm going to throw those videos at the end of the video. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.